I started off today's show by talking with you about the Miami Dream Center. Now, this is an incredible inner city outreach ministry that does amazing work in places that need it the most. They're on a mission to restore, rebuild, and renew dreams, hopes, and lives. Kim, thank you so much for being with me this morning. You're welcome. You have some started something so incredible, Kim. How did this all begin? It all began 10 years ago when I was helping someone in Texas mm -hmm. that was drug addicted and wasn't, we just didn't seem to have any progress. Mm -hmm. And so I just actually began to pray and ask God, how can we help someone better uh, their lives and get out of some of the stuff that they're stuck in? And I felt like he gave me a vision of residential discipleship that within a year someone could turn their life around if they really committed to him and wanted to be free. And so 10 years ago, that vision was given to me. And um, as a result, we ended up going to a Bible school and visiting Los Angeles Dream Center on a mission trip. Mm -hmm. And from there, ask, where, God, where do you want us? And he said, Miami. Mm -hmm. So we came back here four years ago to start this outreach ministry. So four years ago, this began. And your husband, he is actually, he founded this with you. And he is originally from Key West. That's correct. So it's kind of close to home then yes. for him, not too far away. Yes. All right, Kim, you guys do so many different things with the Miami Dream Center. Let's talk by, let's start, I guess, by talking about all the different aspects you do. Okay. Uh, our strategy to reach the neighborhoods starts with short-term mission teams. Mm -hmm. So young people from all over the country will come and work with us. They'll spend usually a week. Uh, and then we establish, have established different neighborhoods, for example, in Little Haiti where we just continually go to the same neighborhood so we get to know the people, but by having the short-term mission teams, that provides us with a labor force. We also have full-time missionaries that work with us. Uh, no one is on staff of Miami Dream Center as far as paid staff. They all pay their own way as missionaries. Uh, so we've got the missionary side of it from short-term missionaries, full-time missionaries, and then we also want to bring in an aspect where we will be able to house people from the neighborhood uh, to put them through a year-long discipleship program. Mm -hmm. So we do um, distribution, we're helping the poor, mm -hmm. we have clothing distributions, food distributions. Um, one of our mission teams we were able to paint, we had a hundred students for four days in a row, so we were able to paint nine homes within that time, just clean up debris in the neighborhood. So we're very hands-on um, mm -hmm. when we go into the neighborhoods. What has been the most rewarding thing for you so far, Kim? seeing lives changed. Mm -hmm. Tell me a story. <clears throat> Tell me one of the, a specific story of someone's life that you've changed. Mm -hmm. um, we have a person that attends our church that came in one morning and said, I'm addicted to crack and I want to be free. And just seeing the progress of her life go from she can't function to now she is able to uh, get free from that and actually making right choices and getting her life on track and we actually have several stories of, of people like that that are just really, um, their lives are being changed and transformed. And it's not by our power, it's mm -hmm. the power of what God is doing through them. And he's just using us as a tool. Mm -hmm. What ages are the people who help with the Miami Dream Center, Kim? The mission teams that come work with us, the minimum age is 14 mm -hmm. because of the nature of the neighborhoods that we go into. Um, we work in South Beach, we work in Liberty City sometimes, and so there's a, there's a danger element. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a minimum age of 14 to take a mission trip with us. Mm -hmm. uh, All right, Kim, you have been around for four years, so what would you say are your future plans for Miami Dream Center? Future plans are we are launching a sex trafficking outreach in our existing neighborhoods in 2013 that will help to combat that. Uh, and future plans are to establish a residential home where we can house missionaries, we can house long and short term missionaries, as well as people from the neighborhood. So uh, that would be our future plans, mm -hmm. future goals. Um, and we just believe in a miracle to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, Kim, if people want to get involved with the Miami Dream Center, are you always taking new, new participants? Yes, mm -hmm. we are booking mission trips for next year already. Um, we have March, May and June pretty much covered. Uh, but if they would like to come on a short-term mission trip, they're welcome to visit our website and contact us. And then uh, any other way they'd like to get involved, uh, whether it's through donations or we take uh, clothing donations, food donations, financial donations. Uh, there's 
a lot of ways for people to get involved. They can wi visit the website. Okay, and this, this is an experience that would not only change their lives, but it would change the lives of whoever it is that they're helping. That's so. right. And that's what we discovered the most with the mission trips is, mm -hmm. you know, these young people come here thinking that they're coming to change someone else's life and it ends up changing theirs. We generally think about missions as on the foreign mission field. Um, Miami gives that feel of a foreign mission trip because of our dynamics, but it's missions to America. Mm -hmm. Kim, thank you so much for being on the show this morning, sharing this information about the Miami Dream Center. And again, if people want more information, just check out the website. That's going to do it for me today, everyone. I thank you for tuning in this morning. Please join me again here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.